people, it's Poet, and we're beautiful today. <laughs> I like it. Ah, oh, lots of work has been done. I actually really felt like playing this mod lately, uh, just to get my mind off some stuff. Uh, I haven't been in the best of moods over the last few days, so I've been just investing a lot of time into this mod. Um, little changes, I added little tiny pillars to the sides. I had added these before, but when the mod messed up my save uh, and destroyed everything, uh, it, it had removed most of them. I think maybe this one was still there. Maybe this one was still there. But I've now gone all the way around and just, just a little subtle accent. Um, this still, still isn't done. I mean, that that looks better than it did. At least it's kind of customized a little bit, but I'm going to maybe put a base around it of some kind somehow. Maybe maybe a different color on the bottom bottom row, like spruce wood or something, just to give it some contrast. Uh, now this, my little sawmill, it still doesn't have a roof, but it is looking a little bit better. Uh, it doesn't look anything like it used to, but uh, I like it anyway. I figured out that you can make these kind of almost uh, plus sign blocks. Let's see, do I have a do I have an axe? Let me see if I have an axe close by. Look at my tree farm just going nuts. Uh, no axe here, huh? I'll just make one. I know that I have some somewhere, but I'll just make another. We always use them. It wouldn't go to waste. Okay, so let me just show you what these little blocks are made out of. Yoink. See, it's just one of those plain old wood, oak wood moldings. Um, you can place it like that. But if you place it just right, now let me see if I can get this right. Ta-da! Cool, huh? And I think, let me see if I can place it the other way too. Uh, it's going to take some talent here. There. <laughs> wow. Can't believe I actually successfully placed it in all three directions without really trying. Okay, so this is the other way that you can place it. So you can do things like that on the floor. Okay, so let me grab that and uh, place it. Perfect. Wow. So what I've done with that kind of technique is made this kind of little cool slot that my saw will eventually sit in. Now, if you can imagine it, this is actually exactly what it looked like before. Um, and I had my saw came up and sat right about here, I think. I think. Maybe it sat here? I don't know. And all I know is that this is the spot that I would place the, the pieces of wood, I think, is on this little smooth stone section. So the saw must have been right here. Um, I don't know how I made it look, but that's how. So eventually we are going to make the power come up from the windmill and to here the saw again. You can see I put just kind of a little fancy design at the back. This used to be shelving, and I might still do that. I just was kind of playing around with the design. Uh, other little minor things. We did a, a walkway out of stone brick. And I've just been digging this part out. I have a lot of digging to go and my pick is just about dead so I kind of stopped. But uh, we're definitely going to be digging this out. I want to grab as much uh, cobblestone as I can too because I've been using it for the stone brick. Um, so this will help digging out this little pathway. Oh, there goes my pick. And my shovel's about to die too. Wow. We really aren't ready for that. But what I was going to do, the road's going to come and curve this way. And then right around maybe that section there uh, where my cursor is. I was actually going to make like a day-night sensor. Um, and then maybe slash rain sensor. Ooh. <laughs> I've got this really really amazing idea for a rain sensor a rain detector for better than wolves and I don't know if anybody's done this kind of idea before probably but um, my redstone mind is is just churning this idea around um, I don't even want to spill the beans in case someone steals my idea <laughs> I don't I don't really care but uh, I want to be at least I want to pretend that I'm unique so I'm gonna make a day night sensor and get some lamps going so that we have like street lights and uh, behind that I'm gonna have like a rain detector 
so that I can turn off these things like the windmill uh, when I'm not using it. So let's see. I'm just going to grab a piece of wood. This is my ultimate test. Wood chest. Just grab that. A slab. You can cut slabs, right? I don't even... I, yeah, probably. I'd imagine. Okay, so <laughs> in here I had... I just threw all those hoppers that I had on hand. I mean, I wasn't using them right Im immediately, so I just grabbed them and threw them around the mill, and it actually worked quite well at catching them all, all the little pieces that flew out of the mill without using water. So this is my test to determine if this is on or not. It's on. Okay, so I keep forgetting to turn it off. Um, I don't have a lever. So let's make one and just power that down. So now that will be off. And when it rains, it won't be blown up. Good. So in this episode, we're going to try something potentially dangerous. I don't know how it's going to go. I really have absolutely no idea. I'm kind of scared about it. But... Uh, this is all about exploration. Oh, yeah, look at this, huh? A wicker piece. And blocks of wicker. You can actually make these. These are filters for the hopper. I was kind of playing around with. These are the hoppers. You can put them on top, right? So, I made wicker. Uh, and to make wicker, I should actually just show you guys. Oh, I can't, huh? Yes, I can. I'll just grab some new stuff. Here it is. Okay, good enough. So to make wicker, you just grab some sugar canes and you turn it into wicker. Ta-da! Now, wicker isn't exactly a very attractive looking substance, so these blocks, like, look at it. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. If you were doing maybe like a Japanese style building, that would look really, really good as part of the walls. So I might actually take advantage of that in the future. But for now, the wicker is just going in this chest and being ignored. Uh, block of wicker, there you go. So what else do I need? Oh yeah, I got the little pieces done. Got that. Okay, what I need are some pieces of wood. Can I use these? I don't think that I can. I'll grab these just in case. So let's see. Can I make an axle with those? No. Can I make it with these? Yes. Okay. That's kind of lame. But all I need is one axle. Yeah, I think all I need is one axle. And I need something else. You guys are going to be excited about this. And what else do I need? Another rack. Um, where did I put that? Oh, maybe I don't have any left. Okay, well, we'll just make some more. That's okay. Yoink. You see what I'm grabbing. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah. Now we got to climb all the way up and turn this back on. Okay. We've got to turn this all the way on. Like so. And please, please tell me I have a gearbox somewhere. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, man. Crap. Well, let's just, uh... What can we do instead? We really need a gearbox. Okay, this is what we'll do. This is what we will do. Since I'm not using this gearbox... Where did it go? Oh, why is it up there? Okay. We had to dismantle a little piece of our... Our mill here, but that's okay. Where did it go? Gearboxes look so much like planks. Just sickening. Okay, so that's on. And now I'm gonna put that... Whoops! Like that. Like that. And... Hopper. Like so. Whoops. Put that back. Wow, this thing's loud. Loud for you guys? Oh man. Oh my god. Well, that's the 
disturbing. They have the new ghast screams. <sighs> Had to get out of there. It's just too loud. I'm just going to hang back a little while. While it cooks up some of that ground nether rack. Let's go take a look. Oh, that is the most disturbing thing ever. Okay, well, while that does that, let's take care of the Q&A right away. Um, just because I don't want to have to go on too long with it. Um, first question. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me formally introduce it. Q&A time. Curly font in the corner. Okay. This question is from Cole Umland. Um, Umland? <laughs> I can't read my own writing. Um, so I think that's your name. And they ask, how have you become so popular on YouTube? Um, well, um, <laughs> congratulations. Today is... <laughs> Don't answer the question when I run into a room full of screaming gas sounds. Um, I reached 2,000 subscribers today, technically today, um, although I, I knew about it last night. And uh, I mean, what can I say? I, I'm, I'm humbled by 2,000 subscribers. Um, I was watching uh, Mindcrack. It's a, it's a server if you guys aren't aware of Mindcrack. A um, bunch of fairly popular YouTube Let's Players are on Minecraft. And I was watching their panel at Minecon and someone asked a very similar question like, uh, how do you become popular on, on YouTube? And the owner of Minecraft put it very, very nicely. He said, if you have 200 subscribers, well, I, I don't know if that's exactly the number you use, but uh, I'm generalizing. If you have 200 subscribers, think of a room filled with like 200 people all watching and wanting your stuff that's just amazing this thing's blown up so <laughs> with the rain that's why I need a rain detector um, 2,000 people in a room watching your stuff that's that's like an entire arena full an entire high school stadium you know it's just it's humbling to know that that many people want to watch my stuff. So the question was, how have you become so popular? I don't know. Really, I, I, I don't know what it takes. People ask me for advice all the time. I, I almost can't give it. All I can say is do the best that you can do. Invest as much as you can into the product that you have. That is your video. Um, Like get get a good mic, get good software. All All in good time, you know. But but work at it. Work really hard at it. Talk with the fans. Interact with the fans. Um, just do the best you can and have fun. That's the most important part. Have fun with it, and and fame will come to you. It's just that simple. You know, you gotta find you gotta find what makes you you. <laughs> That's all. So next question. I hope well, I hope that answered. Um, next question is from Ali Ali Man One. He's asked a few before, and the question is: uh, Would you do face cams or a vlog? Well, okay, this isn't just his question. In fact, I think there were like four other people who asked the same question on not only this the last video, but uh, oh, just almost every video. People asking: Will you do face cam? Will you do vlog? Uh, I probably won't for a good good while. I uh, I I once set a an invisible number for myself of uh, fifty thousand subscribers. <laughs> now I laugh at that right now because that's a huge amount, but fifty thousand, and I would do a face cam. That's just the number that I have in my head. Um. It could be sooner than that, definitely. I mean, I don't think I'll be at 50,000 in a very, very, very long time, if ever. So, really, I might do a face cam. Um, I'm, I am I can't say that I'm self-conscious. I do, as in my job, what I do, um, 
quarterly we have these these team rallies and I do talks in front of a good 200 people. So it's not like I'm camera shy or or um, you know scared of the audience type of thing. I'm not I'm not stage frighting. So it's not that. It's just I don't know. I I never see the point in it. So that that's my answer. <laughs> Soon, but maybe not. Okay, so we're standing in front of the hopper. I've put this power to it, but unfortunately, our uh, while well, it's raining here, and it rains for it rains for a very long time. And while it rains, we just cannot we cannot do this. It'll just destroy the gearbox again. So I've put soul sand as the filter in this hopper. I didn't show you guys that you could do filters, but I'm sure you most of you know that already. Uh, that you can put little filters in there to filter out certain materials. Uh, that's what the wicker was for. You can put wicker there. Um, and there are other types. There's a grate that I had made a long time ago that I could have put there. And the, depending on the filter, it'll filter out different things. So with soul filter, you can throw ground nether rack on top. And it screams and it turns into hellfire dust. Ooh. Let's do one more. Haha. -ha. There we go. So now we have hellfire dust. I'm not going to make too many of them because if you make too many of them, uh this thing not only blows up but it spawns a ghast in your world and I really don't want a ghast flying around in my world. Sorry. Uh not right now <laughs> until I get it powered. When I have it powered then you can put as many as you want. Um but it's raining, so I got those two Hellfire Dust. What can you do with that? Well, you can concentrate it. But I don't even really have the technology to do any of that. So, in the meantime, it is what it is. I just wanted to start the process of gathering this Hellfire Dust. It's like a very... Think of it, think of it as like radioactive uranium, plutonium type... It's just good. It makes things hot. So I'm going to put that away. That's the general idea. I got some more ground netherrack, and I will get to that when I can power it. Uh, but let's continue answering questions, and I'll show you what I've been doing downstairs. Next question is from Cat's Rule 13. Um, and the question is, why do you say perfect so much? And it's funny because I know for a fact I've said perfect already in this video. <laughs> I could guarantee it. I always say it. Uh, I'll do something, and I'll just say, oh, that's perfect. And I made fun of myself in one of my dinosaur mod videos about how I always say perfect. Um, again, it's just it's just a little quirk of mine. It's just something that I say. I don't know why I say it. It's just something I say. When something's perfect, it's perfect. It's it really is the perfect word. Ha ha ha. Okay. So that that answers that question, I think. Um, it's just a word that I like. It's it's a word I like to use. Uh, next question is from Mark Justin, and he asks, uh, If you could add a new mob, what would it be? That is a very good question. And before I answer it, I'm going to show you what I've been working on down here in my poo farm. I've got that awesome little wooden button, and it powers this redstone here, and it goes up, up, up into this little array here. And now, this array is going to be... I'm going to dress this up. I'm going to have a nice little, maybe, glass top building around it. It's just... An, I, I wanted to make it look... Uh, if I could form sentences. I want to make it look very industrial. You know? Like, oh, not, oh, not smokestacks, but... Kind of like pistons from a car or something. I just want this to look, like, as industrial as you can get. Um, a real machine. So I have these dispensers all lined up with pork chop, and you can see that one's missing because I was testing this. I do know that this works. And underneath these blocks is a pit with my little puppy inside. <laughs> a dark hole, if you will. Okay, so I just basically covered them like that so that uh, I wouldn't fall inside the hole. But what happens is the dispensers, which you can only place... Um, you can't place the dispenser up and down. You can only place it horizontal. So it has to shoot out. So that's why it's spaced like this. If you didn't know dispensers. 
So we go down, and I will show you what this is all about. Look at this. I've encased them. I've encased them in as much cobblestone as I could find. So here we are. It's perfectly pitch black for all of them. But you saw the top down. Um, why don't I dig a hole? I don't have any. Okay, let's, let's place this down quickly. I'll make a pick for ourselves. Let's look at what they look like in there. Poor little guy. Look at him. Aw. Looks exactly the same as he used to, but now he has cobblestone surrounding him. Hey, how's it going? Bye. Okay, so he's stuck in there now forever. And uh, let's go see how this works. I walk over to this button here. Press the button. And you can hear the little pops. Did you hear that? Did you listen closely? Did you hear the little pop, pop, pop as the pork chop flew down and landed on our little wolves? So now it's missing two pork chops because it's used two of them. Uh, and the pork chop flew down, landed on top of our wolf, and he ate it. So that's exactly what we wanted. Now what happens is they you give them enough time, their tummies get upset, and they poop. It goes down this water channel like you've all seen before. Oh, I'm stuck on I'm stuck on nothing. I was just stuck on a wall. So they do their business and it comes down these pipes, the plumbing, <laughs> if you will. It comes down the plumbing into these little holes in the middle. We've gone through this before. It flows down. This is my it's practically a Minecraft sewer here. <laughs> but we come down the sewer system. Uh, and it flows down, flows down, flows down into this little hopper. And we can see that we have stuff in it. Wow, 15 of them. That's good. That's actually really good. So you can see that it's working very, very well. And I'm very proud of myself for making this system work. Uh, and it's all by the press of a single button. So that's pretty good, huh? Now this is the part where I have to actually, like, Seal this all up, like I said, and make it look industrial, make it look nice. I think it'll be good. We'll have poo for days. Now, I need a way of of mass-producing cattle so that I can have leather. And, um, I do know... Sorry, I'm, like, I'm, like, struggling not to, like, belch on camera or something. I, had, I just had, like, more than my share of Chinese food, and... You know those diet ginger ale things that I <laughs> told you about several videos ago? Yeah, I had my fair share of that just now, too, to wash it all down. So, excuse me for struggling to breathe. Uh, but anyway, we need a way of mass-producing these cattle. Uh, you can get breeding harnesses for them. I guess I'll show you guys that in another video. Um, but it is almost time to kill off a few of these guys. I'll do that in a bit um, after I breed breed them. But you can get breeding harnesses, which basically makes the breeding process easier so that you don't accidentally kill the, the wrong ones and so on and so forth. So I'll do that. I'll get the leather, and with the leather, you get the poo. And with the poo and the leather, you put them together and you cook them and they do things. And then you can get belts and things like that. It's all useful. It's all wonderful. So we'll do that. Let's see, do we have any more coming down the pipes? Oh. Oh, look at that. We have two more already. Okay. So that's working pretty efficiently, too. I like it. It's working pretty efficiently because the only real light that those wolves get are from these torches here underneath a little bit. But if I flow up inside of here, I don't know if you can see that, but this is pretty pitch dark in here with the wolves. Anyway, that's how it is. Okay. So, if you could make a new mob, what would it be? That was the question. Let me answer that now. Um, there, I have a couple ideas for mobs. And this is a common question that LPers get. but uh, And a common answer is the one that I'm going to give. I want another water mob. A hostile water mob. Like a shark or something. Or like a, a mosasaur like in my dinosaur mod. Um... You know, something that scares you out of the water and forces you to make a boat kind of thing, you know? Make use of the boat system. Um, 
Sharks would be nice, but any other kind of fish would be al also pretty nice. I was thinking maybe swordfish, and then you could use their their kind of tusk type things as swords. Um, you know that kind of thing. Maybe seals just for for their resources. I don't know. Like, clubbing baby seals isn't my thing, so that might not be cool. Uh, the other kind of mob I was thinking was maybe like a uh, contraption con construct mob. Not contraption, construct. Um, something that you build, like a snowman. You know, the snowman golem or the, uh, the iron golems. Something that you create, another one of those, but like a little wooden robot. That would be cool. You know, just a helper bot. I think that would be awesome. Punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Your dead face standing on my pole. Punching it. Woo! So that that's my answer. Uh, except for that last part about punching that guy. <laughs> the next question and the last question is from uh, the Howlin' Guyan. And his question is... And I think I've been... I, I don't think I've been avoiding this question. I thought I answered it a lo already. And I guess apparently not. Did I answer it? What is your favorite animal, they ask. Well, I don't know if I really even have one. I mean, my dog is my favorite animal, <laughs> I think. Uh, I had a, a pet parakeet that I really loved. He was he was cool. Uh, that's that's my favorite animal. No, my pets are my favorite animals. That's, that's always the case. Um, if I had to pick one in the wild... I don't know, maybe a honey badger, just because of its unassuming name. If you don't know what a honey badger is, but want to know, it's it's apparently, they say, it's legendary, but they say that it is the deadliest creature on Earth, and it's like the size of a, a weasel or something. I could be completely wrong. I just, I, I think the name is cute, and it's so deceiving, and that forever has been, you know, my favorite animal. Honey Badger. Huh. So there you go. <laughs> Those are the questions. Ask your question on the Twitter. Uh, hashtag PoetQA. Or in YouTube comments with PoetQA. I've lately been only reading the ones that say PoetQA. So uh, make sure you have that on there. Or I might accidentally overlook your question, unfortunately. Not that I don't read your comments in full. But I don't remember when I'm going back to look for them. Uh, I don't have time to read every single comment again. So, Poet QA, ask a question. I'd be happy to answer it. So, that's that's the end of that chapter, I think. Um, I really, really wish that I could have shown you guys more of that Hellfire Dust um, creation. This rain just won't stop, though. I mean, I guess it's it's okay. Sad days for Poet. But I, I I don't know if uh, should I should I get into it? I don't hide anything from you guys. Um Yeah, I guess I could admit it. After about six years or so I, I broke up with my long term girlfriend. And that that created sad feels about a week ago. Um eh. You know what? There's there's one thing that I've learned, and that's you know, don't take anything for granted. The person you're with, don't take them for granted. Uh, communication, that is the biggest part of any relationship. I want to let both you guys and girls know that. No matter what, above all else, trust is important. But even more than trust is communication. If you don't talk about it, then trust you throw out the window. Oh, look at this. The rain stopped as the beautiful conversation goes on. <laughs> Um, more so than communication, the very important thing is, and, and this is advice for anyone that they can use, um, and was probably the biggest problem with, with what was happening with me here is, uh, I, I, I took it for granted that I, I was too comfortable, you know? Always treat the person you're with like the day you first confess your love for them, you know? Just remember that day. Remember how excited you were. Remember how happy you were. Don't lose that. Try your best to always, always show that they are the most important person in your life. Uh, and take that. Don't take it for granted. You know, that, that's all I can say. Word of advice for anyone out there with, with a relationship. So, 
I mean, hey, it cost me in the end. And uh, after six years, I mean, hey, it, it, it was good. And, and I'm still friends. So, you know, and, and always hopeful. People can change and people can recover. It's definitely been a life lesson for me. So, you guys, uh, that's the only advice I can give. <laughs> Don't want to leave on a downer, so we'll just dive into the water. See you next time, people. Bye-bye.